This video will show you how to replace the battery in an Apollo oil level sensor. The oil level sensor consists of two parts, a sender and a receiver. You can usually tell if you need a new battery because there will be a small symbol flashing like this on your receiver in the house and it will not tell you what level the oil is currently at. To solve this issue, you have to go out to your tank and you'll see the sensor on top of your tank. It's a rocket ship shape of a thing screwed into the top of your tank. Start off by screwing the sensor out of your tank. This is easy enough done. Um, just on the screws. And you'll observe on either side you'll see a small Phillips head screw. You have to take those two out first of all. When the screws are out, that'll allow you to split the sensor into two parts. The part that goes onto the tank, another part that houses the circuit board and, of course, the battery. If you turn it towards you, you'll see there's two other screws you can take out. You'll have to remove these to separate the sensor into two parts and get access to the circuit board and change the battery. Now you've removed those two screws, you should be able to separate the two parts to reveal the circuit board that houses the battery. Allow you to change the old battery. Which is now irrelevant. And fit the new battery. Which is going to solve your problem. The only real advice I can give you about this is when you're fitting the battery make sure that the plus side is facing outward or in that you really can't go wrong. Once that's done I'm just going to replace this sachet that's a moisture absorbing sachet and put back on the housing Refit the screws you removed earlier. Put the sensor housing back together the way you found it by replacing two screws that hold the base onto the rest of the sensor.
simply screw the sensor back into the tank. That should be your problem solved, but it may not. There may still be an issue. You might still get this warning triangle on your screen or a blank screen. If this is the case, what you have to do is take the sensor, unscrew it out of the tank, and you see a small spot in the middle of it, and there's a small spot on the receiver in the house. What you do is you have to take the sensor into the house, touch it up against the receiver, like this. Touch the two spots together and you'll see full reading coming up on the screen and a flashing light. And once that, that's repaired them, so your sensor should be back in working order like this. And that really should be it. And that's how to replace the battery.